conservation of natural resources all substances available in nature like air water soil forest minerals are called natural resources natural resources are of two types renewable and non renewable renewable resources can be generated after they are exhausted they can be recycled for example water forest animals and soil etc all renewable resources are regenerated or replenished through natural cycle it should be noted that any resource if consumed at a faster rate than it is replenished then it will come to an end over certain period of time minerals petroleum coal rock time stone etc are non renewable resources they are not replenished and they are exhaustible once they are finished they are finished forever let us look at the measures to conserve water constructing water reservoirs to store water making bunds on the bank of the river to prevent the flow of water into the fields growing more trees to prevent soil erosion by checking water pollution by the prevention of disposal of industrial waste and garbage into the water bodies adopting water harvesting techniques soil conservation maintaining the quality and fertility of soil is called conservation of soil following steps need to be taken for soil conservation prevent soil erosion by planting more trees the roots of the trees bind the soil particles to prevent erosion by growing trees on the boundaries of the fields to cut the speed of wind the field should not be left uncultivated for long wildlife conservation plants and animals living in the jungle are called wildlife these animals are also very important but for the last two decades their life is in danger the population of a few species has been decreasing continuously many more species have become extinct and it has disturbed the balance in nature the following steps may be taken for conservation of wildlife ban on cutting of forest ban on hunting of animals for commercial purpose poachers should be strictly dealt with wildlife sanctuaries should be established to provide animals their natural habitats